scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In my life, be glorified, be glorified. In my life, be glorified, be glorified. Sing in this place. In this place, be glorified, be glorified. The praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. You just want to say thank you. Thank One more time. You, you get the glory. You get the glory. You get the praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. You just wanna say thank you. Thank so we my life. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. This is what this is all about. He said, Hearing is our Father glorified. John 15, verse 8. When we bear much fruit. Did you know that all these things we go through is for one reason? Listen to my message for your glory. It's a series. You need to listen to it. If you don't have it, get it. Get it and listen to it. For your glory. It's with the media. After the service, you can go online, you can download very powerful message because we need to understand what all these sacrifices are for i just thought to myself today i said anyone that gets into ministry just for money or for fame or for titles in today's world is in for a root shock a very root shock if you get into ministry just because you are looking for a cheap alternative for fame, loyalty, prestige, and all of these things, you will be in for a root shock. Ministry is tremendous sacrifice. Most of the life of a man of God is not seen by the people he blesses. Most of the life of a serious, visionary man of God is not seen by many people. It takes a lot of sacrifice to be a blessing. But what a joy. Because you are motivated by the fact that much more than your needs met, much more than a vision accomplished, 
much more than your assignment fulfilled is the fact that you are bringing glory to the father the heart of the father are we together now please i want you to insist that your life will bring glory to god when jesus came and saw a fig tree it was taken from the earth are we together and yet it was not producing fruit for anyone to partake of it jesus didn't advise the tree he didn't say let's leave it after two three years he cursed it immediately that means there is something about a life of barrenness that robs god from the glory that is due him so you must not only come here all the time but cry that my christian life must be fruitful in every ramification i think we should turn that into a prayer father let my christian life bring you glory let my life produce results are you praying please don't look around pray whatever it will take oh god for my life to produce results let it produce results whatever it will take the sacrifices with my life like a gift to you Sir King Al Sir King Al One more time Ya bone na Ya bone na kau Sujata na kau Sir King Salama Sir King Al First Corinthians 15 spiritual stability part 2 first Corinthians 15 and verse 58 Apostle Paul is teaching here and he's challenging us on the need to be stable he says therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast I want you to look up please unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord the key word there is to be steadfast unmovable are we together now the entire please look up let me remind us that the motivation behind this series is captured in the name of the series itself to give our christian experience a level of solid stability are we together because the times that we live in please listen carefully if you do not know and understand what you know and believe then sooner or later your faith will be challenged there are people challenging everything on earth today everything people are challenging whether Jesus is really the son of Mary the son of God challenging whether it was a virgin birth challenging whether he resurrected many people have proposed that from the resurrection jesus went to europe and stayed there married there got old now you would think it's funny until you see the kind of people saying it if a poor and weak and naive person is talking you don't listen to him but someone who has intelligence and influence when he talks you must understand that he's supporting whatever proposition with some kind of facts so the bible says be steadfast 
there are preachers today after preaching a line of thought and a perspective about god after 10 20 years they stand on their altars and don't know what they stand for again are we together yes we have to be careful because there are all kinds of teachings coming into the body of christ number two there are all kinds of teachings that should not go out that the devil is trying to take out of the body of christ and some of them in the name of old school new school you know whatever it is that means that there is a need like apostle paul is doing here to the church in corinth to bring believers to a point of focus and order it's not enough to be born again it matters to god that you are stable are we together i i watched a jimmy's wonderful son while i was sitting there i i remembered when the gentleman was trying to walk it was such a struggle he will walk one two and fall down sometimes i want to help him and the father will not even mind he says like that they will be strong and now that gentleman is walking and not even thinking about what he's doing and i said wow this is my message stability it's all right to rise and fall but not forever you can't continue to stand up if if a five-year-old child listen carefully tries to stand tries to walk and falls you know there's something wrong how many of you have seen a full-grown adult have a problem with stability doctors are here and they will tell you something is wrong and this is what we want to correct are we together now because you see in spiritual things physical age is not necessarily a determining factor you are going to hear people young and old some of them your parents come up with perspectives that may be sociologically acceptable but let me tell you the truth is largely antichrist do you know why many people we are going to continue i'm just i'm just giving a little preamble for tonight's teaching the reason why there is a lot of instability in the christian work of many people is because there was never conviction from the first place i can believe a lie for donkey years or because i am part of a system that believes that lie and there are benefits i get from that system i usually will not question it are we together now and we camp around some of these things and the devil is destroying people look at the shock at which people are denouncing their faith and it's okay for members but where men and women of god a man who has represented a spiritual voice to territories for many years all of a sudden gets up and now says for instance gay is right are you getting that now or sits down and then comes up with some scripture and says this is this there is need for stability otherwise our children are in trouble we are going to teach them nonsense and rubbish ask these little children some of the things they are learning in school you will be surprised to hear what they are teaching them are we together and just because you know i love the body of christ but just because a man goes to church does not mean he's growing spiritually in today's world going to church is not enough because church is many things today are we together now people were doing well before they started going to certain circles it was in those circles their lives got into a level of confusion and nonsense it is church for instance that have made people to beat and drive their wives it is church for instance that have made people to even sacrifice their children we must be steadfast there are things that require correction there are things that require applauds there are things that require preservation are we together now be steadfast immovable so we said that it matters that we are grounded and productive in our christian lives it is lack of spiritual stability that has produced a lot of imbalance and spiritual vacillations today we are loyal to this school of thought tomorrow we are loyal to this school of thought 
Next week, we are loyal to this school of thought. The Bible says, even if another angel gets up and preaches another gospel, he said, let him be a cause. That means angels can preach. And if they can preach, they will preach. The same way people have received different things. And then, one of the reasons why this series, I believe, is very important is to be able to create boundaries for this appetite for spiritual knowledge and rema. There has never been a time in the Christian faith where there is hunger. We want depth, which is all right. I mean, we just want to dig deep. We want to search every Greek word, every Aramaic word, every Hebrew word. We want to read every book, find out together. All of these things, there must be a system that guides people. Otherwise, we are going to get into trouble. I have heard preachers preach over the years. And by the privilege of the apostolic office, I have consulted with many materials, even extra biblical materials, not for the purpose of error, but to be able to understand the spiritual sphere. And I've had a lot of messages I can almost quote verbatim. I know the book, this man. This man has read this book. This man is preaching from this article. This woman is talking from here. It is one of the reasons why God grants you the privilege to be vast in your knowledge so you can know where error can come from. Are we together? Right now, the average young man is more concerned about the scarceness of the revelation that comes from him rather than the truthfulness of it. So if I communicate something, there, there was a gentleman one time, I listened to the gentleman and he was so authoritative. He claimed he was one of the incarnate of the old prophets. So I ordered his materials. I ordered lots of his materials. He's the young, arrogant guy like this. And I ordered the entire materials. Not for cynicism. I wanted to go through it. And when I went through everything this guy wrote and what he proposed as the correction of the Bible, I said, wow, this gentleman is in trouble. He needs deliverance and he needs it fast. Are we together? I have read books that I opened the page and I can tell you they copied it from one zodiac book, one stargazing book. There are many things done in the body of Christ that the origin of that operation is Scientology. Some of it is spiritism and mysticism. Just because God can be a mystery does not mean that anything mystical and spooky is God. Is God speaking to us now? Because we must be careful as we, as we taught. The, and, and you know, sometimes we men of God, in the name of prophetic instructions and in the name of anything, we just do all kinds of demonic things. And especially because many christian circles around africa and nigeria have come from a foundation of tradition you know that the christianity in africa is largely it has a little touch of tradition which there are wonderful sides to it in our songs we dance we sing but there are certain practices that are truly rooted in witchcraft number two there are people in the Bible who were genuine servants of God. But at certain points in their lives, they operated by spirits that were not of the Christ. Just because they were people of God, but the operation within that context was not of God. There are all kinds of things in this Bible. That's why you must be guided. You will read this Bible and you will see principles of witchcraft in it. That's why you can enter a herbalist shrine and see a Bible there. He can open it and read this chapter, this verse, this. But it doesn't mean. Number three. It also does, don't write. I'm still on my preamble. Just because a, a spiritual operation produces results. Listen, listen. 
just because a spiritual operation produces result does not mean it is of God. Are we learning? Because you see, the realm of the spirit, I have taught you this, any dimension higher than the three-dimensional realm can supply a level of advantage into this realm. There are people being caught up in the spirit every day and every time. And they are not getting caught up necessarily by the power of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Almost every religion I know, they have zealous men and women who can tap into powers greater than that which is the human. For instance, your grandfather and your grandmother. How did they cook the yam that they cooked that you didn't see fire under? That, that's a spiritual law. How did they disappear somewhere and appear somewhere? There used to be these kings growing up. I used to hear about them. And they would tell you they have nine lives. Some 11 lives. Come on, Africa, talk to me. Don't, we're not in Europe here. Nine lives. They even say cats and animals. All these superstitious things. And when we get born again, we don't allow the Spirit of God to renew us well. So we carry the backlog of those experiences. Add anointing and scripture on it. Put everything and serve it as a menu. And while people consume everything, they are motivated by the results that come from it. spiritual stability we need to be grounded do you know why because error can intimidate someone can stand in error and intimidate you and make you to leave everything that is the epicenter of your conviction most of us now i don't mean to insult but a number of us here i presume are not well traveled both within the country and outside this is why we have not seen the framework of the kind of challenge that can come over our Christian experience. One of the blessings of exposure is that it opens you to other territories alongside the, the sociocultural context of the people. There are lands that you go to that is 2% Christians and you will be surprised to hear what these people know about God, what they know about Jesus Christ. Till today, there is still argument on the body of Christ as to the correct formula for getting born again. You see that? There are many people who say they are born again and they are not born again. It's true. You don't wish getting born again. You don't hope getting born again. You don't assume you are born again. You don't inherit getting born again. There is a principle. And today we have people, we have ordained people deacons, we have ordained people pastors, we have ordained people, we have given people churches to handle. Yet those people themselves, ask them, what is your salvation experience? And the person, what, what kind of stupid question is that? Do I look like a sinner? You see, the, the person is clearly telling you, I don't even know what this thing is. Yet, that is the head of evangelism. Just because people go with a, a, a placard and sing songs and use um, the, the loudspeaker doesn't mean they know what they are doing. And it's the reason why many believers are frustrated. Because many years of lying to yourself, you will get to a point where you say, I'm tired. Look at our children now. They hate church. They hate God. Do you know why? Because they've been asking questions since they were babies. We refuse to answer them unfortunately they don't have the kind of loyalty we have growing up for many of us here you didn't ask for why you just obeyed if they give you money bring it to mommy you don't say mommy why is my right they will beat the living daylight out of you so if they, you just obeyed but you ask a little child now baby you should give me say why uncle why my teacher said every time they should ask why Welcome to a generation that needs answers. And let me tell you, we are not going to continue moving religiously by faith. We need a very spiritual...
spiritual and intelligent conviction to support our Christian work. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Men of God send me text messages every time. And sometimes they are like, Apostle, how do you do it? I've preached every message I know. I've done my best. I've read every book. I've preached every series. I've preached every whatever. I've done everything. I'm tired. I, I, I literally have to open my Bible a few minutes to service, to check. What have I not said before? Is it Matthew 6.33? Is it Revelations? What, what will I not say? That's why people just shop messages and bring and preach. Something is wrong with our conviction. Spiritual stability. The last time in part one, we agreed that the first key that we need to create stability in our work with God is an experiential revelation of God. Remember? So point one is an experiential revelation of God. That we need an experience with God. A personal experience. I remember the old folks used to say, have you had a personal experience with God? Right now we are young people and we don't even know what a personal experience is. But the old folks who say, do you know God personally? Have you had a personal experience with God? An experiential revelation of God. And we broke it into A and B. A is through his word. Remember 1 Samuel 3.21 that the Lord appeared again to Samuel by his word in Shiloh. And then number two, number two, through the family of true believers, we agree that the family of believers can help you to know God. The corporate gathering, the spirit of community among believers. If you are a Christian and you don't have a spiritual family, you will not be stable. Because you need a family of like-minded people to support your belief and to support your conviction. It matters that when people get born again, we don't just isolate and throw them around. It's a different thing if they are in a region where there is no platform where believers can gather. Are we together now? Believers need to support and strengthen themselves. Especially for those who are younger in the faith. They must come in the midst of those who God has helped to gain some stability so that they can watch. They can watch their life. They can watch the way they are growing. It's not just a principle that works for your Christian life. It works for everything. When you watch people who have gone ahead of you, you receive directly or indirectly the system that they have worked with so that it can help your own work too. So number one, through his word. Number two, the family of believers. Number three, through your pain and challenges. That our pain and challenges are gifts. Now I know that um, this is not an aspect that many of us like. It's a very touchy aspect. Don't talk about pain. Don't talk about challenges. But I tell you honestly, I don't believe that God afflicts people. I don't believe that God causes pain and this. But one thing I know is that God can take advantage of every situation in a believer's life to teach him something about God. Are we together now? Yes. Our pain and challenges cause us to need God and to prioritize him. Most times when people are comfortable and there is convenience, there is usually a side effect, whether convenience through prosperity, success or whatever. The side effect is that usually it will dampen our passion and our zeal for God. It will seem to give us a reason to not press into God. Are we together now? It will seem to give us a reason to say, I mean... I don't, whether I pray today or not, there's food in my fridge. Are we together? Whether I pray today or not, my child's school fees is 100,000 and I have 100 million in my account. I mean, what, what is the prayer for? Quite honestly. Whether I pray or not, I have a house, I have cars, I have businesses, I have relationships and connections everywhere. So why pray? Why seek God? Why spend time? So God takes advantage of the 
periods of pain and challenges because they calm us down. Are we together? They keep us in a position where we can think, we can reason, and God steps in and says, my son, my daughter, now that I've gotten your attention through this, let me show you something about me. Our pains and our challenges help us explore dimensions of God we may have ignored or trivialized. There are things about God that we probably may have ignored because of the comfort and the luxury around our lives. But when we go through pain and challenges, they help us to explore those dimensions. I told us again that one of the greatest dimensions of God that pain and challenges birth is compassion. Compassion. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest, listen carefully, who has not been touched with the feelings. We have very hard people whose heart is like stone. And remember, the Lord said he will give us a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh is not a, a weak, chicken-like, mediocre heart. No. Are we together? The heart of flesh is a heart that can have compassion. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you see someone crying, you can say, oh dear, I put myself in this brother's shoes. Oh, I've not eaten a puzzle. So what? Am I the president of this country? Please. No. That's a heart of stone. A heart of what? Stone. There's a reason why it is called stone. Because stone doesn't have feelings. You can pour anything, you can throw it there. And there are many believers. We may look born again. But the reason why we are quick to destroy and tear down others, the reason why we are quick to be judgmental and to be presumptuous on people is that we have not learned compassion through pain. There, there, there is a way that you will go through certain things in life when you look at people you will just pray for them. Are we together? Yes. I have seen people go through pain. I have seen people go through challenges. Sometimes I sit down and wonder, I say, Lord, if I were the one going through this, would I be able to survive? I've seen people go through it. I remember, I think we were in Abel Kuta early this year, and some two wonderful women, mothers, quite elderly, they came and their combined age, that, not their age, the combined period they had been waiting for a child, for two of them, I think it would be like 52 years combined. Now, it's easy to stand and shout and say, Lord, I will trust you and love you forever. After 20 years, 21 years, 22 years, it's like a man who has been hearing the sound of a gun every day. If they call you and say they are a thief, you say they should kill me now. What, what, am, am I alive before? They should come and kill me. I'm already dead. Challenges create compassion. And it's one of the ways you can know you are, whether you are a Christian. You know, you will be blessed tonight. There are many wrong parameters that many of us use. The Bible uses love and compassion as a major parameter to measure spiritual growth. Just because tongues are charismatic, miracles, like the gentleman who came to share testimonies, you shake someone and the power that leaves your hand just carries that person up and down. They look and say, boy, is this guy anointed? And you will fool yourself into believing that that automatically produces spiritual maturity. Love. There remained these three. Faith that moves mountains. Hope that maketh not ashamed. And love. He said, but the greatest of the three is love. The day Jesus will come will be surprised. Because those we may think that will stand just because of our charismatism you will find out that one old mama who cannot speak English, huh? one woman who nobody ever invited, will be the most spiritual based on God's rating. Lord, what did this woman do? I didn't see her on TV. I didn't see her in Koinonia. 
In fact, I saw Apostle Joshua Selman praying and laying hands for her, and I saw her falling down. And God would say, compared to Apostle Joshua Selman, it's like the sky and the earth, the spiritual levels. If you want to know God and you want to be sincere, listen to this thing I'm teaching you. Are we together? An experiential revelation of God. You must go back crying and say, Lord, give me an experience of you. I want more of you. You've forgotten the song. I want more of you. Jesus, the more I know you, the more I want to know you. Jesus, more of you. It says, in the year King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. This is a man I've been representing. Oh, I've been standing for God. I love God. I do. But in chapter 6, when Isaiah saw the Lord, high and lifted up, he said, I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell amidst the people of unclean lips. God would have said, ah, that's, that's too much. That's too much humility. He said, carry the coal and touch his mouth. Because it's true. And then he says... Whom shall we send? He said, here am I. You've heard that message. This guy had been doing ministry for many years. But now he's saying, send me. So who sent him? It's amazing how you can be doing your thing, claiming you know God. And God is just sitting down there. Claiming that you know God. I know everything about God. And God is saying, well, you may know me, but I don't know you. It's like saying you know Bill Gates. Does he know you? more of you more of you more of you jesus more sing more of you Number two, we'll start today's teaching now. The second key that creates stability in your work with God is establishing foundational values that reflect your convictions about God. Establishing foundational values, write it down, that reflect your convictions about God and you may want to add and about life establishing foundational values that reflect your convictions about God and about life. Apostle, I want to be stable in my Christian experience. The second key is establishing foundational values. Satan attacks great visions by attacking foundational values. Write it down. Please write it quickly values you will never be stable in your christian life if you do not create values around your life that reflect your beliefs values around your life that reflect your convictions about god are we together spiritual values intellectual values financial values there must be values this is where i believe that many believers innocently may be missing it we love god but somehow we feel that having values that govern our lives that means that these values coordinate your life to have a level of predictability what are your foundational values about God? I was in the Anglican for a number of years. And those of you who are in the Anglican here, there's something called Apostles' Creed. Remember? I believe in God. Now, listen. 
you will think that's just a chant. It's a powerful reminder. It's a compendium of the entire belief system of your faith. I know that sometimes we can make rituals out of it. But now with understanding, you are stating what you believe. You must create your own creed for God and for your life. What do you believe? What do you not believe? You can't tell me you believe everything. And you can't say you don't believe anything. Even an atheist believes something. Koinonia is quiet this night. Thank you, Jesus. I assume that this is a revelation that the Spirit of God is working on our lives and helping us. Foundational values. What do you believe about God? It's better to be in error at least to know I don't believe this. There are people who believe that Jesus is a prophet and that's all. They don't believe he's the savior. It will be easy to save those people because what they believe is clear. Are we together now? There are many believers whose foundational values are vague. Establishing foundational values that reflect your convictions. People should be able to look at you and in an instant know what you believe. It's not by making noise. You see, let me tell you this. And I say it with all honor. In the body of Christ, we talk too much. We talk too much. Yet, in the final analysis, most of what we say are not our foundational values. We talk about kindness. We talk about all of these things and yet we don't believe it. Do you have foundational values? Any person who does not have foundational values in his life will never be great. Will never, I repeat, be great. Ask any great man in life and destiny. Part of the secrets of their greatness is that they have been able to create values, foundational values. What are the principles you have put in your life to support your spiritual growth? Oh, I will grow as the spirit wills. You will never grow. What have you put? Tell me clearly. What have you put to support your spiritual health? What have you put to support your prayer life? You see, and, and, and I don't mean to be sarcastic. Please, if, if I offend you, I'm sorry. But some of this carelessness have come from an exaggerated communication of the grace message. So every time people have to put physical pillars that help them and support them to stand strong. They feel guilty because they feel it should be automatic. No, sir. Ask any successful person. Nobody becomes great automatically. Is that true? The people who announced their jump here, 270 this, they didn't just close their eyes and dreamt and sat down and then stood up. They, they labored. Let's respect the sacrifice that creates stability. Don't just say, Apostle, my prayer life is going down. What are your spiritual values? That's my question. You will never be stable if you don't have values. At what point can you punish yourself? At what point can you supervise and discipline yourself? You are the first mentor of your destiny. It is not always about people policing you. Is there something you can do in your life and say, this is not consistent with my values. I must be disciplined for this. I usually pray every day by so time to so time. Now, I slept off. I must pay that price in that prayer by having a one full day retreat. That's discipline. You don't allow weak people fool you and make your spiritual life go down. You need tenacity and energy and discipline. Are we together? Values. I will never come here for koinonia and be stranded of what to preach because there is a value around my life that makes sure that by Friday my message is prepared. I look at it. It's not automatic. Tomorrow I'm in Zamfara. Tuesday I'm in Lagos. Coming back for the retreat. All of these programs, these are major conferences. How do you prepare them? And then you have to sleep. And then you have to do other things. Is the reason why many believers are not balanced in their life. They don't have values. 
you get up anytime you sleep anytime are we together you can go out of your house without plan and not discipline yourself for being that careless you just plan to go and do something in someone's house you end up spending the whole day and you don't do a review to punish yourself for that carelessness it's not it's look do you like what i'm sharing it looks like you don't like what i'm saying you you better like it because this is what makes people great say values shout it again some of us need to create values that govern your going out and coming in not everywhere is goable no sir my friend has birthday somewhere is is my friend will you die if you don't eat the cake can they cut your own and keep for you we have this 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 carnality that make us believe that until you go and establish your presence everywhere values a married man gets up leaves his house in the morning returns back by 12 o'clock and no explanation to the wife and children where did you go to what is your business am i not your husband no sir you are in discipline no sir you are in discipline if i don't have anything doing outside you will not find me outside no way there's you see it's lazy and unserious people that have all the time to spare do you know sometimes in all honesty i tell you this sometimes i sit down by morning and before i finish preparing all my it's already evening and i'm wondering my god it's already 10 i can be in a, in a position from morning till maybe i'll just get up to ease myself or do something values I'm going to have the devotion. What time? There's no time. So there's no system of creating discipline. You get up by 5 o'clock, but you don't have a value in your life for when to seek God. I, I, are you getting what I'm saying now? Even the reading of the Bible, there is no system. You just say, okay, today. Okay. First Kings 13. No. This, I don't want anything that will scare me. Where is Psalms? <laughs> psalms for his message you look for a simple four verse psalms and just read and wonder why you are not growing why should you be surprised that you are not growing how many of you have seen some of these evangelists that preach in the park if they sometimes six in the morning they are there they will do it for more than 20 years early in the morning as soon as you are traveling you will see them there they are preaching do you have values for your life? Many of us are not bad, but we are receiving the result of bad people because our values have not edited our lives enough to allow good things come to us. Are we together? One of our dear ladies was, was, was sharing and, and sent me a text today about some, some people that stay in, in their compound or so, smoking all kinds of things and harassing them. I said, look, if nothing is done here, find a place immediately. We'll support you to find a place and get out of that place. Are you that desperate for your growth and your destiny? Have values. Have values towards money. Have values that govern your character. Compromise. You can tell yourself, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. Anytime I see a great man, I will never beg him for money. It's a value. I will find out from him. If he blesses me, that's all right. So if you see a multi-millionaire come, your values. Are you seeing that now? There is that each, but your values. But there are others, as soon as they, ah, your boys are here, you see, you don't have values. And anybody that does not have a, a spirit that does not have control is like a city without walls. Many believers are not stable because we lack values. You cannot define what are the values that I live by. It's better to be sincerely wrong, but at least that you set values. I have a value. I have a spiritual value over the man I can marry or the man I can go out with, or the woman I can go out with. 
when you see a lady that loves God with all her heart, you know, sometimes it doesn't cease to surprise me. And then with all the spirituality, here comes this, this uh, uh, brother that, that is, is not, you know that this guy is far from the cross. He's even far from, uh, what's the name of that place where Jesus died? Golgotha. Far from it. And here comes the lady smiling and asking whether it's the will of God. The situation there is lack of values. If you have values, you already know. I can't be this selfish. Children are going to come from this union. And I'm going to submit to this man. I don't want a man that will make me bring forth children whose destinies will be destroyed. If you are honest and you are serious, you will think about your children, not just yourself. It's not all about my, I love you, I love you, my comfort. You are thinking, children will come from this. What if I start praying with my children and the man comes and says, no prayer in this house. What happens to you? We now begin to blame God. Say values. What of friends? What is your standard for having friends in your life? There are married people who have bad friends, ungodly friends that keep causing trouble for their homes. Are we together? Values. Spiritual values. What is the parameter that qualifies a man to have access to your mind? Or do you just listen to everybody just because they are talking? What must be present in a preacher for you to listen? What of finance? Some of us don't have values at all. We lie anyhow and it doesn't matter. Me, I'm both old and new school. I've told you, depending on what is old and depending on what is new, there are things we call old school that is just, is, is very new, is latest school. Just because it's ancient does not mean it's outdated. Let's be careful when we define some of these parameters that continue to destroy our lives. Some of us love God, but when it comes to, let me bring money out. When it comes to money, Look up, please. Christians, look up. When it comes to money, you are praying in tongues. Someone just says, uh, go and buy me polish. How much is polish? Let's say 200 naira. Just because you saw the money, God goes places because money has entered your hand. Just because the person does not ask you for change, you will come and drop the polish. And go away with the change. You don't have values. How about this big man? What will he do with 50 naira? Is it your money? Is it your money, sir? You know, once in a while, the Bible said, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So once in a while, God just draws this thing out to just straighten our lives. Some of you think these things are silly. Are we together now? What is your value to regulate your social media, whatever? What is watchable and what is not watchable? Don't say I'm an adult. You have a mind. <laughs> right now we expose our little children to things they should not watch. And they ask us questions we cannot answer. Are we together? Values. I'm giving you an assignment tonight that when you go back, please spell out very clearly what do I stand for and what do I not stand for with respect to God and with respect to my destiny. Some of you have done well having values for your spiritual life, but you have not done well for your destiny. You don't have values that govern your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I will never be lazy. Whatever it will take, I will do well value in one minute i'd like you to cry to god and say lord have mercy upon me and give me the grace to have values and boundaries in my life lift your voice and pray are you praying it's a hard message but it will bless you lift your voice lord i have tolerated laziness in my life lord i've tolerated carelessness in my life Lord, I've tolerated all kinds of, 
of things that should not be in my life i've tolerated pride lord i i declare i want to go far in life please pray you're not praying pray Oh, apostle, but I'm all right. I'm holy. I don't sleep around. I don't drink. I don't smoke. What of the values of character? The values of empathy? Please pray. It's the reason why some of us have never risen. You have never seen a need to discipline yourself because of carelessness. You must be able to have a way to say, sit down. This is not right. This is good. I have to discipline myself. I spoke rudely. No, one of my values is honor. I was out, I lost my temper and I spoke rudely. I demand if without supervision. Lord, I receive grace to supervise myself. I receive grace. I receive grace. Are you praying? I receive grace. Shalabakata bradakatibaladaba. Spiritual values, intellectual values that I will never go to bed till I've added something to my mind is a covenant that you make with yourself. It's a core value. No matter how sleepy you are, you wake up and you say, I must improve myself every day by self supervision. You are a pastor by Thursday or Friday. Every message to preach must be ready, no matter what it is. Guiding principles. If I finish eating, I must wash the plate there and then. Every day I must sweep my house, whether it is clean or not. Guiding principles. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I would do is play worship and read my bible before browsing before watching a movie values there must be boundaries in your life i'm a music minister if i wake up every morning i must rehearse no day will go without me rehearsing because i'm going far i want the nations to bless me as a man of god i must pray at least in tongues one hour every day Two hours whether i like it or not it has nothing to do with whether i'm strong or not strong i may be sleeping i will carry my mattress outside that one hour i must cover it i will put an alarm clock and pray i must study five chapters every day one chapter every day come what may i discipline myself Please pray. Lord, help me to set values in my life. I'm tired of living my life anyhow, praying anyhow, visiting friends anyhow, watching anything anyhow. There has to be boundaries in my life that coordinate me for the purpose of greatness. It says, every man that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully. You will never be great being careless. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are people here, the last time they read a book was last year. The last time they read a book was last year. You buy all kinds of books and pile them and continue to lie to yourself and others that you have so many books. And then there's someone that reads one book per week. Look, let me tell you, please. God is not unjust. If you are not willing to do this thing right, it will not work. Are we together? There are many preachers that see what God is doing in, in some of our lives and get angry. They don't know the sacrifice. These are my boys that work for me. Ask them. I, I don't think I have ever gone to bed. Not, not in the last, I don't know the last time. I cannot remember the last time I went to bed earlier than 12 midnight. Not for any reason. Even if I have a flight to catch in the morning. Please, let's not mock ourselves. They say uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. 
if you are not willing to pay the price don't insult those getting the result because god is just he's rich unto all are we together an average message anybody that is serious an average message takes hours to prepare you don't want to know how many materials are consulted for just one simple message as you call it what of the prayer on it oh lord bless your people oh lord increase your people a friend was trying to call me this morning i told him i'm praying i will call you when i finish i finished around afternoon and i called him he said since that time and i told him i said what do you think the anointing is a charm what do you think the anointing is a charm i considered getting a chef years ago but i said getting a chef would be a waste of time how many times do i eat in a day i would just be giving free money to some and cooking food and wasting it but how many times do you eat in a day four times in the morning between morning and 12. <laughs> another five times someone has to really tell you the price of greatness so that you will see and know and if it's too scary for you to get there then respect the person who gets there because we have this honor for success in this nation we see people pay such huge price and we trivialize it as though they were just lucky you are just lucky to be anointed you are just lucky to have a crowd you are just lucky. it's just that god just gave you intelligence there is a price Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost, but he still went about. He went about. It was the doing good that was the anointing. The going about was his strength. He went about. That's why many people have a lot of spare time, no values. They sit down morning till night gossiping, more talking about politics. Then they move to men of God. Then they move to farmers. Then they move to what is happening in the north. Then they move to Boko Haram. It's five, ah, no food today. And that's how they spend their day. And before you know it, there are children around you asking you questions. Mommy, why are we like this? He says, it's the will of God. No, sir, it's not the will of God. If you are a man of God here and your life is not on fire, there is an explanation. Don't you ever say it is the will of God. Find out the price it takes to be great. There is a price. You want to be stable in your spiritual life? The price is establishing foundational values. There are things I must do every day, no matter what happens. It doesn't matter whether we are fasting. It doesn't matter whether there is koinonia. It doesn't matter whether I'm traveling the whole day. If for any reason I miss it, I'll be lying to tell you I get it 100 over 100. But if I don't get it, I pay that price. I will pay that price. If I have a time for prayer and for any reason, I'm a night person because I like, I like a lot of, um, it's been like that, the way God trained me. Most of my prayer is in the night. You can live with me for one year and except God chooses to, you may never, maybe it's just the sound you may hear, but you may never really catch me. You will think I don't pray because I love the night. Everything that can distract has gone. I off the light and pray with all my heart. I don't pray and then I check phone and quickly say a message has come. That's not prayer. You are playing. You put your heart in this thing. Do you know the spirits that attack you when you are about to be great? Do you know the level of attack per day that comes upon a man of God? You don't want to know. It's more than just good preaching, my brothers and my sisters. Please, I want you to make up your mind. I don't want to dwell here. We'll, we'll move to other things. But make up your mind that you are going to have values. There are friends, you've heard me say it. Send them a text and say, my brother, I found out that every morning, 6 o'clock, you come and wake me and you sit down. I don't mean to offend you, but please, don't be offended if I don't open the door for you again. There are there are people in the name of friends i'm not relationships are important but there are friends that are not godly at all six o'clock they have knocked your door some are even christians bros are you there now 
you collected that movie right and you want to pray but you are too many of you don't like feeling bad some of us who are already used to persecution we already we have gotten the whole thing but some of you want a good name even at the expense of your spiritual life i don't want anybody to say anything wrong about me and someone comes to your house you are praying you stop the prayer you close the bible and then you slot the the movie and the person is just he's there till one o'clock invites his friend the next day and then the third friend they invite is a smoker who does not respect you or your values you come into a house you are seeing the picture of a dove you are seeing the picture of jesus you are seeing the picture of a poster it shall be well and you still sit down with cigarette shamelessly but you are afraid if i drive this one now may god give you courage to send them out quickly Don't let anybody call you at the fruitful part of your day just call you where are you i'm in the office how ah, what are you doing i just thought about you oh god bless you thank you i'll call you later no 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 i want to talk now there's jesus jesus day that's why we never become great we don't know that this thing keeps adding god is a just god you don't sit down and cross your legs around and then you want god to keep sending you nations no i returned back yesterday by evening as soon as i returned removed my clothes i didn't even rest i got straight to work i don't know what time i slept this morning i woke up later i, I slept maybe around it, it shouldn't be earlier than 4 30 and by 10 i was awake till now my eyes touching the bed to sleep again maybe at least three o'clock in the morning yet i have a ministration in zamfara do you love your destiny that much or are you just singing songs about it behind everything that works is someone making it work did you hear what i said behind everything that works is someone making it work it doesn't mean i don't joke it doesn't mean i'm, I'm an antisocial person but there are people who at the level you are in life you don't have the luxury for play I can decide to take a whole day off to relax. I think I, 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 I've, I've worked enough to merit it. But somebody that is just starting in life, say apostle is resting, you too, you are resting. We only rest on the seventh day. And on the seventh day, God rested. You are resting on day one. It's an error. He said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh, cometh when no man will walk again please sit down god bless you thank you promise so the second key to creating a st stability in your life is to establish foundational values an attack on your values is an attack on your destiny satan does not attack you by attacking you he attacks you by attacking your values Number three, let's hurry up for the sake of time. Mm. What is the third key to creating stability in your work with God? Receiving the ministry of the body. The third key, you want stability in your Christian life. You must receive the ministry of the body. We'll have a long reading. First Corinthians chapter 12. We are reading from verse 12 till I ask us to stop. 12 down about 26. Actually, the whole text is the, is the entire from 12 to the end. But we'll read down maybe 25, 26. Now, please look up. We are creating stability in our lives. We are going to read. For as the body is one and hath many members. Paul is teaching now. And all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. Paul is teaching about the body now. Next verse. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Another word, Anglicans, Pentecostals, Presbyterian, whatever it is. Whether we be bond or free, we have all been made to drink of what? One spirit. 
Say one spirit. It's one of the foundational doctrines. The doctrine of baptisms. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. For the body is not one member but many. Now, Paul is teaching something here. He's teaching that this body we call is not just one member but many. Okay? If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? He's asking a question now. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where then is the hearing? Powerful. Paul is an intelligent man. Imagine if the whole world was koinonia. You would think it would be excellent if the whole world were koinonia. Where will be the Miles Munros that will receive the teaching and the revelation of the kingdom from? Let me tell you this. One of the manifestations of error and pride, how you know you have deviated in a way that demands deliverance and repentance is indoctrinating yourself to believe that your ministry or your person is a sufficient representation of all that is needed to present the fullness of Christ. Any man, any woman, man of God, businesswoman, whatever, if you ever conceive that thought, it's a sign that your life is under attack. If the whole body were koinonia, where then will be the Benihins, the Kenneth Copelands, the redeemed church, and all these places? My goal is never to make every ministry koinonia my goal is to contribute my quota as far as the privilege of god's grace has been given to me to supply my own contribution to the overall body i have said this again and again and again i thank god for the privilege of balance i am not a balanced man of god just because i'm independently sound I'm a balanced man of God because I have a heart that is open to the body. There are dimensions that are not shown me and I never would have seen no matter how close I am with God. But my genuine opening to the body has given me room to be able to look and say, wow, so there is something like this. It's not been captured in my experience. Let me study it. If the whole were hearing, where then is the smelling? All these parts have distinct functions. 18. But now God had set the members, every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. Believers, are you seeing this now? Your life will never be stable if you are imbalanced doctrinally. And we men of God, sadly, and, and very, 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 I say it with all due respect, because of our individual complexes, we carry our complexes that are as a result of our esteem of ourselves and, and add our complexes into the context of ministry and make it look like it is God that is... Imagine that I sit down now, I say, don't listen to any man of God. If any koinonia person listens to any man of God aside from me, you are not being loyal. That's devilish. It's a terrible doctrine. I have a responsibility to guide you. I have a responsibility to teach you. I have a responsibility to mentor you. Is that true? But never to sit down and lie to myself and lie to you that in myself as Joshua Selman, I contain all the dimensions that are in God. I travel around and I see dimensions in God that sometimes I stand and I say, wow, this is amazing. And I sit down to learn, my God, I never knew this. Is the reason why I love the body of Christ. Don't carry that bias that just because it is not your church or it is not your pastor, every other person who is not you is a devil. And many men of God, we are victims of this. And the danger is that we are subconsciously raising people after that paradigm. We're talking about the church in Nigeria. I think it was with Ejimi some some weeks remember and we're discussing and and i was sharing with him how this button of ministry came down right from the samuel ajayi crowders 
and I was just showing him the spiritual history of the church in Nigeria to this present time. Celebrate the body. We are perfect as a body. As individuals, we may have our own limitations. We have our own pride and prejudices and immaturity here and flesh here and imperfections here. I know, I understand. Our levels of alignment to the spirit are not the same. Our levels of hunger and passion for God is not the same. So the results will not be the same. However, however, it matters. I was living, I was living Asaba yesterday and there was a dear man of God. He was part of the people that came. I was already late, hurrying to go and catch the flight. And then he requested that I just come step my feet in his church and pray. I don't know him from anywhere. And I said, oh dear, this man, let me do my best and at least stand and pray for him. I know what God has put in my own life. I know what will happen to his church when I pray for him. So it's not just because I am anointed. I know that his church will never be the same. You see that? One of the reasons why I love Dr. Miles Munro, you hear me talk about him so much, not just because he's the one who mentored me in the area of the kingdom, but when I started out in life and ministry, I wrote letters to several men of God. Now, I'm not offended. I'm not saying they are bad. Because you write a letter to me, I may not even get it. It's, it's not the best, but... I mean, I do my best to make myself accessible, but sometimes it's just not possible. So I totally understand. It's not from a standpoint of sarcasm. I wrote letters to several people, several ministers, just telling them my encounters and just trying to leverage on them to make sense of my life for me. And among, there were different versions of replies, I believe, but Miles Munro wrote me handwritten handwritten and encouraged me and shared certain things signed it with his own signature and sent it from bahamas to zaria and i got it i said lord i want to be like this man whatever will make a busy man like this the largest church in bahamas a pastor of pastors an advisor of presidents to have the time to send to a young guy trying to gain his balance spiritually that's the reason why all these prayer groups and fellowships and the young people, some of you here, every time they come and say, Apostle, this is what we are doing. It doesn't matter whether they are in error or not. I love them and I embrace them. Because when I was at that level, there was no one close enough. Everybody who could listen were too far. And then they continue to say, young boys are rebellious. But who is the person that can listen and can pat their back? There is no group and no association and no group of gentlemen and women that I will not love them and hug them. If there is something that needs correction, I'll say, adjust this, 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 and just love them and bless them. I made up my mind that as God lifts me, I will never be too far that I cannot bless and help the people coming. You must receive of the body. And if they were all one member where were the body we are reading to verse 26 let's hurry up but now are they many members yet but one body everybody say one body say it one body many members and the eye cannot say unto the hand i have no need of thee nor again the head to the feet i have no need imagine if God started doing all those encounters, producing dramatic encounters, I was seeing the saints of old, having visions with them. Yet I was poor, I was broke, and everything I did was poor and was broke. Imagine if those anointed in the body to supply that dimension, I rejected them. That rejection would have reflected in ministry today. It would be an anointed ministry with baskets all around forcing both your neck and your hand to cough out every money in your pocket today we are able to walk in this level of integrity by the grace of god because we have received the supply of those dimensions i never started my journey with god knowing anything about finance 
it was the spirit life encounters visions dreams the word prayer faith i mean everything just throw yourself spiritually anything that had to do with excellence administration leadership i didn't know anything about it but bless god for the body bless god for the body nay much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary there are ministries in the body that are not on tv there are ministries in the body that are hidden and silent and the bible says those ministries are also important and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable everybody say less honorable say it again less honorable look up please this bottle of water was kept by someone imagine that your assignment on earth is to always keep water for joshua selman you will look and think that just because this is not is not you are not shining so you see the guy who is holding the mic and preaching and talking i'm shouting right now and somebody is falling under the anointing outside and say, wow this guy we can think based on human parameters and our ways of measuring things that the person who is doing this ministry is of lesser honor no hear what the bible says upon this we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more what abundant comeliness that means your heart that you cannot see can stop your leg that you can see from walking your brain that you cannot see have you seen a madman whose body is complete yet he's mad because something that should not be touched in his head was touched say amen Just because one, one molar has a problem, an adult, it will force your eyes to shed tears. It will force your legs to run around because you are worried just because one tiny teeth has a problem. That means there are ministries we are ignoring in the body. What this woman who has just a small prayer house, she just prays for people and writes the names of men of God let's leave this sofa head woman let's go to koinonia where things are happening and you leave the woman whereas you don't know joshua selman is standing today because that woman is kneeling down you see that oh lord help him let the revelation be fresh upon him lord help him there are people who pray for me as a ministry i'm not talking they they believe they are called by god thank god for the prayer department but there are people, I know some of them, they believe that their assignment in life is to intercede for me. And I don't joke with those people. When people send me a text and say, Apostle, I just prayed for you. No matter how busy, I, I do my best to at least, if I cannot sow into their lives, I cannot pray for them. Or I pray back for them or just try to do something to make them... Um, feel honored for what they have done 24 for our comely parts sensitive parts have no need but god had tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which which lacked 25 that there should be no chism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another prayer ministry care for the prosperity ministry prophetic ministry care for the apostolic ministry are we together leadership ministry care for the man of god who all he knows is how to heal the sick and preach he doesn't know how to put an excellent organogram make your ministry available provided he's ready to receive it the bible says but as many as received him meaning he can be rejected There are churches you go to you see the power of god but there's a lot of misbehavior i can be preaching now sam come i can be preaching and a member will just run and come and touch my head and go back to sit down what kind of indiscipline is that <laughs> are we together all in the name of excitement no the house of god is not a, a cinema uh, uh, hall neither is it a place for movies and circles it's a place where lives are changed when you see that it doesn't stop the power of god from flowing but you will know that a dimension of the ministry of the body has not been received 
or some I'm preaching and someone squeezes 1,000 naira and throws it to me. Is that how to sow? Is that how you sow corn? <laughs> you sow corn with respect and dignity. Ask any farmer. You throw maize like that, you don't come after four months to get a harvest. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive the ministry of the body of Christ. Say in the name of Jesus, I love the body of Christ and I receive the diverse ministries of the body. Let me advise every man of God here, you are a pastor, you are a spiritual leader of any sort. Never use your pulpit as a platform to tear another man's ministry i repeat never use your pulpit as a platform to tear another man's ministry because you are sowing a seed that will grow must grow i don't want anybody talking against me and talking against anybody serving here and i will not sow that seed i will challenge wrong doctrines but i will never find myself stand and tear down see imagine for instance um um just come, Sam. Imagine, come. Imagine that these guys are laboring and doing their work. And just because of one or two mistakes in their lives, I just come and push everybody aside to show that I am Joshua Selman. I'm destroying them. What does this guy go and tell his wife? Our ministry is going down. Why? Joshua Selman tore down your ministry. this guy i tear people down and i stand you don't have to cut the head of people to show you are tall if you are tall you are tall please i want you to learn this that in the name of jesus you will zip your mouth from talking against men of god talking against their wives talking against churches don't do that are we together now don't go around ah, this man of God's wife this man of God this one now we are not perfect people in ourselves it's true and different ministries have their different dimensions of God uh, and there are the truth is that there are things to correct in almost every ministry there is something to adjust there is something to correct so the observations may be justifiable but it's still not enough reason to tear people I have preached everywhere from Anglican to Catholic to Cherubim and Seraphim to um, Presbyterian, Equa, Cochin, Pentecostal. I mean, just name it. I'm for the body. I love you. I never show any, where are you? Are you for who? Are you for us or no? I would not do that devilish thing. In this ministry, there are people who are a, a product of different churches and different places now let me tell you this you don't have to agree with a man or a doctrine to love are you getting what i'm saying now it, just because i accept the body does not mean i accept every doctrine there are doctrines that are obviously wrong i have my convictions there are doctrines that you will never hear from this pulpit because as far as the responsibility of your spiritual growth as given to me under God is concerned, I will do my best to present to you the most accurate and balanced portrait of spiritual truth. However, I will not just go and meet someone who maybe has a problem with the baptism of the Holy Spirit or has a problem with deliverance or has a problem with healing and then fight the person. Don't make that happen. This is one of the mistakes that I see happening, especially among younger ministers, because we are all young. Younger ministers. Sometimes I look at them and I see them training themselves to resent. Oh, you are Anglican. No, I won't. I'm serious with God. You are what? You are from. Mm, don't do that. I love people regardless of if i don't agree with you on many grounds when we meet we discuss the areas we agree we agree about the growth of nigeria we agree about the fact that this country must go places we agree about the fact that the poor and the needy need help these are areas that we agree on why bring a sensitive and touchy area 
is one wisdom key you may receive when you are in the midst of people who don't exactly agree with you be careful you may want to bring subjects that are generally agreeable are we together is god speaking to us thank you guys say in the name of jesus i receive grace to receive the ministry of the body i'm a product of many anointings and by the grace of god these anointings have contributed to making my life what it is today when i travel to different places and people try to honor me as against other preachers in that land i, I come against that that honor immediately don't do that don't honor me at the expense of other men of god i've shared with you my story how that once upon a time i traveled to a particular place for administration and um, the media people also came to do an interview for me and you know they were making it look like the men of god in the city were just doing nonsense now that apostle has come i said no 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 don't do that i have only come as a contributor to strengthen the hands of the men and the women there imagine how healing it will be for you as a pastor when you hear another pastor says i've come to strengthen your hands years ago when we wanted to organize a crusade uh in 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 in, in massacre i remember when the pastors were doing you know i was presenting it before the pfn there many of the pastors were feeling look they said some of them said if you are coming to open a church just say it because many people have done what you have done they will come and say crusade we will labor and give our speakers as soon as they finish they just appoint your keyboard this is now your usher the other person is now a prayer band member you just share people's members say just tell us and i laughed i said no i'm for the body i don't hate the body and that's what we did there throughout that crusade it was honor for the body all through praise the lord you must love the body of christ i love equa i love cooking i love baptist i love living faith i love mfm and name them i love everyone for as long as there is one person in that circle that names the name of the lord regardless of the individual imbalances if god were to walk just on our perfection then all of us will not have a ministry every house in a great house regardless of the vessels the house is still great are we together god bless you number four the fourth key to creating stability in your walk with god is to engage the practice of personal retreats hmm. the practice engage the practice of personal retreats personal retreats Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. You are the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost Take your place Take your place Take your place Take your place, Take your place. Mm. Isaiah chapter 40 And verse 28 we're reading to 31. The grand secret of spiritual stamina, the practice of retreats. A retreat is a time, I think, um, what's the message now? 
it should have been the last message for last year let me tell you this it's a shame and i'm very disappointed in this ministry if you are a worker and you are a faithful member in this ministry and we call some sermons and you look as if you are not aware it's a sign that you are not serious with god quite honestly are we together there are messages that must be in your archive because life will make you demand them retreats retreats a retreat is a time away from your normal activity a time set apart to seek the lord to spend time with the lord retreats are times of personal appraisals retreats are times of correction retreats are times of empowerment Has thou not known, has thou not heard, the creator of the ends of the earth fainted not. So the Bible is talking about fainting here. It says, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Next verse. He giveth what? Please talk to me, Koinonia. He giveth power that means when people faint what do they lack power the spiritual capacity to stand he giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might he increased strength that means there is a reason why people go down power is missing strength is missing it says that if you turn aside in the day of battle your strength is small there is a way life can push you that will force you to turn aside you need a retreat even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall next verse but they that wait upon the lord to wait upon the lord is not just to fast you can fast and sleep you are not waiting upon the lord hello to wait upon the Lord demands seriousness and intention. The best way to wait upon the Lord is to fast. But even if you eat, eat light enough to allow your spirit. There is, there is a relationship between the busyness of your mind and food. Once you have choked yourself with food, even, even medical people tell us, by the time you eat... I mean, if you take a lot of food, you find out your body begins to hibernate. You want to sleep. So sometimes you will need that space. There are many believers. It's amazing. As far as I'm concerned, and now I, I, I stand to be corrected, but a Christian who does not fast is not a serious Christian. I'm not talking of a special corporate fast. There is no week in my life I don't fast. Impossible. Impossible as impossible as saying Satan died for my sins. Are we together? Could it be that your belly is the reason why your destiny is closed? Yes, sir. Could it be that you have not held on to the four horns of the altar in a retreat? There are men who have not encountered true power because they are not ready for it. When you get angry with life, that door will open. No. It's just that many people are too casual about life. Lord, why is my destiny locked left, right, and center? You close the door. No food. If God can grant you the grace, no water. You stay there. You lock the door. Lord, you have anointed me as a man of God. What is happening? My church is not growing. My life is not growing. Lord, something is wrong. What is wrong with my music ministry? Nobody is placing demand on my grace. While people are sleeping in the night, you are rolling from left to right praying. Shakatopakata. Tears coming out of your eyes. You are crying your destiny with passion. Lord, open the gates of my destiny. I'm the firstborn. I'm the lastborn out of 15 people. 30 people in my lineage. Nobody has risen. There has to be a way out. 
what is that yoke oh god why why is it that 11 ladies married in my lineage none of them has joy zakatos kapata he said bring forth your strong reasons believers don't pray believers don't get angry enough there is what we call holy anger it's true that you just sit down somewhere and say lord something is wrong something is wrong something is wrong our only brother that got a job died two months my sister married a rich man she died with the man lord what is wrong there has to be an explanation you sent an angel to come and give daniel understanding where is that angel he must come and meet me in this room you are praying there is a way you can be angry sleep will not near you you organize vigils now in two hours people are sleeping and sometimes it's even the pastors that are sleeping what sort of indiscipline is that how many hours is a vigil yet the same person can stand by the road and talking for the same time for the vigil it's a spirit slumber is a spirit pray inquiry prayers Shakos Kapatala. Lord, everything I put my hand in doesn't work. I entered five relationships in one year. They all died. What is all this? Someone said he will give me a job. It didn't work. Lord, render heaven. Speak to me. I need an explanation. When Job called upon the name of the Lord and he meant business, God came. He said, open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things. Let me tell you this. If you want to rise in life, I want to give you a very big advice. It's not a doctrine. Please maximize your night times. I repeat, maximize your night times. Only weak people snore their entire life through the night. The night is when destiny, destiny things, shift things in the spirit ask the doctors most patients die in the night you are at a sensitive period in your life you need to be serious it doesn't have to be a departmental retreat lord a three-day fast i need to find answers i need to find answers off your phone remove the battery and throw it and keep it somewhere don't let that addiction will you die if you don't own your phone for three days will you die if you are not on social media we make it look as if these things if we off them we will die what if they steal the phone and for one week you don't have a phone and you get down on your knees lord is me and you here no friend no koinonia no apostle you, if you have the resources and God grants you grace, you can go to one of these quiet hotels somewhere. Just book a room, 5,000. And close yourself there. Lord, you have said many things about my life. I'm tired of confusion. Lord, I'm tired. I believed this last week. Now, I don't even know what I believed again. I just finished a series on deliverance. And now, I'm even doubting the whole deliverance thing again. Lord, you have to help me. And you pray. Let me tell you. God comes when we take him serious. Did you hear what I said? God comes when we take him serious. For as long as you play games with God, you will never have him come. There is a mystery to an encounter. You must give it a life and death seriousness. When Koinonia was going to start, three days before Koinonia, or, or thereabout, before Koinonia would start, I went on a retreat. Jakatokabada. Lord, everything that I've put, the blueprint you revealed to me, is it intact? And if God ever spoke to me and said, this koinonia thing, you're on your own, I will close it. I never do anything in this ministry and in my life, a major decision without taking out time to pray. You ask the leaders, they know. Sometimes we will discuss something and they just come back the next few weeks and they find me keep quiet over it. 
if I keep quiet over an issue God has not spoken, I will die there until his voice comes. We don't respect the voice of God. That's why we continue to move in circles in our lives. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yes. Fill this temple with your presence. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. I wait on you. Lord, I wait. Sing it one more time from your heart. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. You want to make a serious decision in your life. Who to marry. And all you are doing is browsing Facebook. You are about to marry a devil. You want to relocate from Nigeria or abroad and you think it's not a reason for a retreat. Should I move? Should I do? And you browse. Advantages of staying in Nigeria. Google, enter. That's your destiny we are talking about. There are defining moments. Please hear me. Not every decision in your life is equally important. Lord, should I start a church or continue like this? You don't make that kind of decision sitting down and drinking coffee. You lock yourself and say, flesh give way. I need to hear something for the destiny of millions. Fasting does not kill. A vigil does not kill my brothers and my sisters. Conquer spiritual laziness and receive the grace to stay until something comes upon your life. Lord, my ministry is not stable. Men are coming in, men are going out. What is all this? Today we have 10 members. Tomorrow we have 20 members. And the Holy Ghost comes to you and says, Son, there is a level of power and grace you need. They will not come and sit down for nothing. And you stay there. One hour becomes two hours. And the Spirit of God is watching your seriousness. Two hours become three hours. And the Holy Ghost says, this lady is not joking. I have seen there is a boundary you cross in prayer that even God knows you are no longer joking. You are praying, praying from your heart. Lord, you have called me into a ministry of signs and wonders. Where are the evidences? Why is my life barren? Why do I stand to minister and the word of God is not coming with fire? What could be wrong, oh God? I have read every book. I have listened to every man of God. And all of a sudden, he comes with his glory and says, my son, there is a way ministry is done. It's a revelation. You hear every great man tell you of their encounters. Run away from a man who does not have an encounter of the secret place. You don't copy everything. There are things you must get by yourself in the secret place. We were preparing. We are going to pray. Shortly before Koinonia will start. You know, I was already sensing in my spirit, okay, maybe let's go and start ministry in Abuja or somewhere there or just or whatever it is, you know. Koinonia was already on and I just sensed in my spirit and then I was having a retreat towards the end of the year and I just prayed and prayed and slept I didn't even know I had slept and all of a sudden I had a dream and in that dream I saw a plane lift and on that plane it was written ENI it was leaving Zaria to Abuja listen just when it was about to land in Abuja it crashed when I got up, I said, Lord, I get the message. The time has not come. I would have stupidly gotten up just because somebody wants to sponsor you does not mean God is in it. Please hear me. The times we live in require keenness of sensitivity. One 
brutal mistake you make can destroy your testimony forever I would have done that now and you would have been surprised what have you taken for granted in your life a gentleman said he likes you you didn't pray you just smiled I think he's the one even Samuel saw Eliab and said surely this is the Lord's anointed God said no 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 if you love God and you want to go far please get this message and listen to it you become stable in life when you practice retreats periodically there are times I go for retreats and I say Lord am I are the messages I'm preaching in Koinonia is it consistent am I am I leading the people in the right way and God tells me sometimes you see me tell you that God gave me messages here messages most of these messages you see commanding results that they talk about and all of this the names the lifter of men that message has blessed I was lying down on the bed praying and the next thing I saw on my pillow the lifter of men that's how I saw the message you would think people are lying if you are not a man of the secret place please we are spending too much our of our life in the open a great man of God most of your life should be indoors you are preparing for an extraordinary life sister God has told you you are going to marry a great man of God cat walking around is not going to bring you the marriage you go back you are praying and building your spirit to carry the load of ministry is not it's not a wheelbarrow you are pushing you are carrying destinies on your head there are many of us because you don't have the spiritual stamina for the level you are praying for god will never take you there he will take you there and you can die in one month because of the kind of attack and persecution that comes at that level there are even finances this prosperity thing you see is warfare prosperity is warfare oh god make me a millionaire and god says son you are too innocent you don't know the attack that happens when you have money is god speaking to us this message is calling us a restoration back to retreats some of you you have not had any retreat this year next week is our workers retreat thank god but much more than a workers retreat let me tell you the truth if there is anyone who has been connected to this ministry for a while and you cannot go on a personal retreat you are not growing you are not growing no matter how busy you think you are you may not have the money to book a hotel or a place and by hotel you don't book a hotel where they are playing music in the night and clubbing you have you have you have, you have ruined the whole retreat find a place alone walk around oh god show me what am i not getting well what am i getting and you are walking and talking like a madman you think you are talking alone one hour you are talking by yourself this is what will happen lord this ministry you are giving me this anointing this healing anointing and you stand and the power of imagination begins to come you are standing and seeing yourself ministry and you are sensing a time will come the climate starts to shift his majesty is coming make way for him all of a sudden he can come there two three hours you may not know what is happening until the next time you hold a mic when you hold a mic you will see the fruit of your retreat ordinary praise the lord you are going to see people getting healed and you say what is this like the gentleman who was saying you don't just speak and the power of god touches people god is not a magician you can fake power you can't fake his presence you can borrow revelations here and there you must have a track record are you ready to pray our time is gone find a corner for yourself in the next five minutes we are going to blast in the spirit instrumentalists help us we are going to pray just find a place alone for god's sake with god cry your heart this night to god and say father something is wrong i need stability in my life lift your voice and pray
Mandas kata prahasana makata Shekete kete kete Embrakatosko parakato shekete Nante kaskoma tande shemekata There is something wrong oh God I don't have a personal encounter with you Help me oh God Today I think I'm born again Tomorrow I'm not sure again I need a personal encounter Pray Samalakato shabaka Embrakatos kopeketos kelakatos Sekete kete kete Embrakato shoto katabaria kata Lekata bashkada barato sanaka Pray Shekete balabos Manta brakatos kepekoto shekete Lekete brakatos kabarakata Embrakatos kabarakatos Shekete kete kete Rakato koto pekete Give me a personal encounter a personal encounter a personal encounter in the name of Jesus pray Shabarakatos Leketakatopakata pray pray outside make sure you are praying you are following online pray Shekotokotopreketekelekos Embreketekekekata Lord restore my values Restore my foundational values Restore my foundational values Restore it The values I kept When I started with you The values I kept When you started using me The values I kept When the anointing started coming upon my life The values I kept that gave me revelation, influence, restore, oh God, restore, oh God, restore, oh God. Shabrakatos sekete, embreketos kana parakatos ketabash, nakata frakata. You're a man of God here. Yeah, pray, pray, Lord. What am I missing? Pray, Lord. What am I missing? What has my growth in the spirit taken from my life? What am I missing? What about prayer am I missing? What about fasting am I missing? What about the study of the word am I missing? What about character am I missing? Shelaka paroka tos kabarande sanas, ekre tos katabaka tos shabaka tos yata. Hallelujah. You're going to pray and say, Father, destroy my life. Anything that will stop me from getting to my place of destiny, lift your voice and cry. circumcision hold on to the, the horns of the altar pray pray take it from me oh God that this destiny of beauty and glory will emerge circumcise me oh God with the circumcision of the spirit circumcise my ministry circumcise my voice circumcise the anointing upon my life Manta Tosca Baracata, Eke Tosca Baracatos Ketekedia, Shapraska Tamba Sekete, Cut away the flesh, Cut away the flesh, Cut away the flesh, Cut away pride, Cut away loss, Cut away pride, Cut away loss, Cut away the flesh until your glory is seen in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point for tonight, and then we are done. Listen, hold on. There are many things 
in terms of the supplies of heaven that must reach a believer to add to his stability the truth is that when your finances is going wrong it can affect your stability are we together there are many of our beloved sisters who would have loved God and sat down properly to hear God for their lives but because of the need of their families they are out trying to look for anybody that has the means even if it's not the will of God there are some of you gentlemen here who cannot settle down for one day because you have a lot of needs financial needs family needs there are some of us we will not dare go for a retreat you wouldn't even imagine it because the devil keeps piling up needs we are going to pray and say lord open heavens over my life whatever must be released over my life to give me rest to seek and serve you lift your voice and pray open heavens oh god open heavens open heavens oh god lord solve this financial issue once and for all so that myself and my wife and my children can call upon your name let me birth this pregnancy the bible says and adam knew his wife and she gave birth to Seth. and men began again to call upon the name of the lord what do you need to give birth to that will give you the liberty to again begin to call upon the name of the lord Open heaven, so God. Open heaven, so God. Help my family. Lord, the cry of my father, the cry of my mother, the cry of school fees, the cry of Joe is not allowing me to seek you. I prophesy open heavens. I declare open heavens. The power, the powers that fight my possession the powers that fight a release of my blessings that will allow me serve God the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you poverty the Lord rebuke you delay the Lord rebuke you failure the Lord rebuke you hallelujah just give me one more minute we are still going to pray this prayer there are some of you that need to pray the issue of marriage and children will not let you serve God when you sit down like this all that is coming to your mind is marriage you are going to pray Lord let the marriage come and go so that I can if that's what it needs to give me rest some of you is your school fees some of you is your education you sit down and just remember five carryovers. Where do I start from? Are we together? Some of you know favor. You want to go on a retreat if a call comes from your mother. My daughter, my son, can I get something? And you say, mommy, you have come again. You are going to pray. Satan, the Lord, rebukes you. Release that which God has, re has released already into my life. So that it will give me rest. Lift your voice and pray. The purpose of the blessing is to give you rest and peace to serve the Lord. Open your mouth and rebuke Satan. I command a release of that anointing that will give you rest in ministry. That anointing that will give you rest in business. Lord, establish my business so that I can have the time to serve you. Lord, establish me. I'm tired of staying in a rented apartment. This rent issue is affecting my time with you. Give me my own space. Give me my own place. Lord, I'm tired of begging for food. It's not allowing me to walk in integrity. 
in the name of Jesus let the heavens be open over my daily bread let it not be a concern again pray Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Kashina, Kamuna, Yanana. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Kashina. Listen, this prayer you see that I just gave you. I pray this prayer for this ministry listen I said Lord I don't want to be a man of God that will ever manipulate people in church for finances I want to be a blessing I don't want to be the man of God that will hold a basket and stand after service and say come and drop money what happens to those who don't have it but if my needs are not met and there are bills in the ministry it will force me to do it let me tell you this the bible says the rod of the wicked listen shall not fall upon the lot of the righteous why lest they dip their hands there is something that can happen to the righteous that will make them dip their hands in iniquity that's why sometimes we need to pray and say lord open the heavens fast open the heavens fast so that the pressure of ministry does not get to me and now make me to start lying to people and say what God did not say Lord open the heavens fast so that that child will come so that it will not lead me to go and meet a harbalist for a child open the heavens fast oh God so that a husband a wife will come so that I will not have to go and meet someone and do one arrange devilish thing and destroy my life is it alright if you pray that prayer one more time? Lord, open the heavens for the sake of my righteousness, for the sake of your grace, for the sake of my spiritual life. Open the heavens. Open the heavens. Send me help from Zion, O God. Lord, send me the admission. I don't want to have to do malpractice. Lord, help me graduate. I don't have to call someone to write my exams for me. Lord, give me a job. I don't want to be a prostitute. Lord, I don't want to be an arm robber. I don't want to be a 419 -er. Let your heavens be open. Let me have the resources to take care of my family. hallelujah hallelujah there is a road that the power of God is moving outside there is a road outside it will start with a lady there is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road Yeah, yeah. 
Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto preteketeteja. Repeteketeteva. Som preteketeja. Let it come like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah, Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 now be delivered I cast that devil I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah we will have a visitation tonight lift your hands I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go! Let her go now. Go! Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free.
The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is that, lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you. Every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Leave her. Stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Shake it, tete, ba, 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 ba. Come. Come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. I hear the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me 
What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. I'm fine. Say I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? He's a lecturer. lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship huh because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. 
are ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very, please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving, something's changing. She is lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. She is lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this your baby please give somebody hold the baby
my hands. I take away this garment of shame over your life. In the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be set free, be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. Eunice, Eunice, the Lord is ministering to me, a lady called Eunice, who is that, please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time, Eunice, Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. That's the last digit of your phone number. Two, two, one. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. Two, two, one. Please, if that is yours, just come out. Two, two, one. The last digits. Two, two, one. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. Two, two, one. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing two, two, one. If that is yours, please come out. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too? Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Hmm? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change it will shock you huh but your relationship with god did you that did you rededicate your life here do your own now you are supposed to come out why did you stay back this is what is giving legal access say after me lord jesus lift your hands say after me lord jesus i'm serious with my relationship with you i make up my mind to stop playing games from tonight I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality, lust, and every related thing I cause you, be free. My God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus' name. Why are you here? Why are they here? What is eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. 
Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this thing away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to cause it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. The Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Lina is me, Bazankoma, Bazankoma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried. The blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out them out deliverance every altar the children that have been buried I command the earth share in the word of the Lord I come with an apostolic territorial mantle let there be deliverance massive deliverance now now I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. 
they catch fire now every serpent every devil I speak to shrines I speak to altars I speak to covens by the anointing of the spirit for the spirit of the Lord tonight is upon me I challenge you I command an exodus an exodus an exodus you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come on, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, And when the evening was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as i begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and Lord I pray right now as I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes be open now.
blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now God is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed God is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now I give you the praise I give you the praise I give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now I cause that spirit I cause that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem I command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of Jesus there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach I cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil I don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the Lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from November last year you don't need to come out from November last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the Lord Jesus I restore order to your body now I restore order the power of God is moving to this effect I restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed I give you the praise Lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the Lord is healing it right now right now right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here, we can lay hands faster on the sick. Do I need to call the sick to come out? Is that a good idea? Answer now, let's work together. Because I know there are people you are still not satisfied. Okay, please and please, if you've been healed, just stay back. Especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time. And then a few others. 
if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God please come out and line up thank you Jesus worship rain is falling down healing rain is falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't quit. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving the miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? only as God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the palmer worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you i'm saying first week of october they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given so all oh earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the Lord Jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus worship him help us let's save him
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. 
You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody. if there is a God you will return back to this place to testify I cause cancer now 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost cancer dies now together with the leg issue your leg will start moving now supernaturally by itself your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hand Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Father, change this girl's story i bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of jesus christ out now out now out now in the name of jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free.
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused worship it are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. Oh, to a catch in the game. Not my fault. Oh, yeah. Sam is not around. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the Worship team, drama, be careful in Jesus' name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say Yes, he is mighty to say Be healed now In the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please. Just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. 
before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagada bed. Rete le banda brandosco parada balata skepetica. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry immediately i finish all those who are trusting god for marriage this year if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed immediately after this march out and stand don't be ashamed of anybody don't let anybody look i'm serious hold on if you know you have a lot to do in your destiny you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here please we are not playing jamboree here I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her please in the name of Jesus Christ baby grow in the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle walker. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, we are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up, I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming. We break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him. But the relationship is hereby declared none and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom, we will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year that God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect. Listen. Let me give you a revelation. My Bible says male and female he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready. Because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one, two, 
three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boaz located ruth i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now Go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Raka tana da raba si te bale bondo braga la la varia da raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha tasa para bago dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the raka tada bato para kate bale brega la la varia raba do varia. Rako to paya raka tali raba raba raba. Ende brega le le bondo brago do bale brega la la varia da. Raka taya raba la la varia bale bale. Raka la bale varia raba raba da. Enda raka tala bara bara tala bara bara. Raka taba hacha bara bara. Raka tali bara 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 bara. Enda reke lele lele boko si bara bara. Rapa to sali tando ho. Imanda katoja ila. Barus ali tando. Iga boja ila. Raunda as ila palierno. Resula Italia. Rusa indo ko. Iamba uada. Wapula ada yondelu. Riamula. Uacha kayuna ma, uatu ya 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 miela, ruma uba ura gana, Rusia na, makondo robo kosi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for the to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. 
dead spiritual lives let it rise the grace of God comes upon families in the blessed name of Jesus we speak to barren cases family challenges in the name of Jesus it ends we speak to divorce cases aha Lord for those trusting you for you to bring back their loved ones fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord it receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, Weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child, he said, For many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction and I command receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life breakthrough now receive breakthrough now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command you to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you. Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command 
every scourging tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports come to Shabbat And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the ant head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows 
and the bible says esther went in and when the king saw her he said esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life we break protocols tonight and we command that god will take you there may my god take you there may my god take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you